Okay, I just want to give a little shout out to my compost bin as well because I did not expect it to be doing such a great job. Both the microbial life in here and hopefully there's still worms in here. I did put a bunch in here. Um, I just don't know if they've survived, if it's gotten too hot maybe or what. Um, but I did move it to the bin to the shade to give it a little bit of uh, possibility for the worms to not, I guess, overheat was my concern. I didn't want them to, you know, get too, get too hot that they can't survive in here. Um, but look at, like, this is so, this is so much further along than I anticipated. This is in, well, I only moved here at the end of May, and I started this bin. I didn't bring this bin here until either the start of July or the end of June, somewhere around there. And uh, I've just been putting my kitchen scraps in here, but recently I did add a little top layer of um, just some scraps around the yard here, like some leaves, some twigs, just to give it that carbon that it needs. So it's not just a big nitrogen dump. And oh my gosh, has it ever taken off with that? Like it's, I, I'm just blown away. Like, let's see if I can get a good scoop here. Look at that. Look at that. It's obviously, it's not done, but it's pretty, it's pretty close in a, in a way, you know, like I could, I, if I were able to separate this and cure it or put it through a different, another system, like a secondary process, I could be using this this summer. I kind of want to see if I can incorporate some of it into, because I was just about to do some uh, up potting. I was going to up pot one of my tomato plants. I was thinking maybe, maybe I could add a little bit of the stuff down there, but I don't know if it's fully ready for that stage yet. It do this doesn't smell as bad as it did before. It's, it smelled like funky before, you know? But uh, it smells much better now, so yeah. All right, anyways, I'm, I'm excited.